Hi everybody, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic again. Hey, if you like my videos and you're watching them, how about subscribing to the Disgruntled Mechanic channel on YouTube? That'd be cool. Need more subscribers, that'd be great. Like to know somebody's watching. Okay, today's video basically is going to be uh, doing the ISO slash bubble flare that I promised to do when I was doing my Saturn and I haven't had time to do it. So today I'm going to take the time and I'm going to show how to do it. While I'm at it, I'm going to do uh, double flare too. I was doing those when I was doing the Saturn, but I don't know who saw it and who didn't. So if you're interested in how to do an ISO flare on a brake line, or called ISO bubble flare, I think it's called a metric flare too, I don't know, with a double flare tool, and how to do a double flare for a brake line, I'm going to show you now. Uh, so let's get so I'll partially be in the picture and probably out of the picture but uh, the main thing is that you can see this ISO flare and how to do it with a regular double flare tool excuse me it's a Saturday time for refreshments basically I have a piece of uh, the nickel copper um, brake line that I've been using now what I normally do is when I make the cut on it I use my I use my uh, battery powered Dremel when it works, and I hone the hole out of hair, like I said, when it works. Gotta hold the button on. It isn't that new anymore. So anyhow, I do do the hole here, and I go around the outside, make sure you get any burrs or anything off of it. Okay, that's number one. So now what we're gonna do? Turn this sucker off. And what I'll do, in case you didn't see it, is I'm going to do a double flare. Now this is a regular double flare tool. That's all this is. And basically what I do here. Now of course, you put your flare nut on here. And don't forget to put your flare nut on first. Because I'll tell you, I've done it. If you watch my Saturn brake line video, you'll see, I think, um, I had to edit that one. But it stinks. It really does. It sucks. So basically what you do is you make sure you get the right size. This is 3 16th line. So what you want to do, get your 3 16th line in here. You see that? And the next step you do, now this is for a regular, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do a double flare. Uh, the ISO flare will be next. And what you do is you have to have, you have to have your brake line here at a certain height. And basically what you do is you take your little tool here your, that you use to actually do the first part of your flare okay you take this and what it does is uh, it's it, it's two-stepped basically uh, I don't know if you can see that or not but there's a wider part and it gets thinner the wider part you want to have pretty much even with the top of your brake line so I had it pretty close there and I just messed with it. You do these a while and you know it's, it's almost second nature it's not that you, you'll almost nail them right on every time. Okay so now what I'm doing is I'm just tightening it up excuse me I'll get my adapter. <clears throat> okay here's the adapter. Um, like I said it is about even maybe a hair over with that now the lines a little bowed but anyhow a little bent so what I do is you gotta tighten your wing nuts up on this and then put your tool over it actually that's a that's a hair higher than what I like I'm gonna back it down just a hair not much just slightly see what that looks like now yep that is almost dead nuts on so we'll tighten our wing nuts up now once again and I'm pretty sure I said this, this is a double flare sometimes what I do is I take the uh, the tool for the the uh, 
flare making tool the handle for it and I take and I tighten up my wing nuts so there you go so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this little guy on here like that you're gonna take the other part of the tool we're gonna back it up we're gonna put it on here make sure it's square I don't know if you if you watch the Saturn video with making the brake lines. I wasn't happy with it. This is a new tool, and I wasn't happy with it. I was having problems with it. But I think you got to have it on an angle, rather right, than straight across, and that certainly seems to make a difference on an angle with this bar, rather right, than straight across. So you take the handle. I'm gonna put the handle in. Now I'm probably gonna go out. I think, but all you do is tighten this, and this will make the first part of your flare. I know it's going to be out of camera here, but I'll show you once I'm done. I'm just, as I get older, I just don't have the strength in my hands that I had. All right. So now I'll take your little adapter out of there, make sure you didn't lose it. That yeah, doesn't look too bad. There is what the first part of your double flare should look like. So now what you do is you leave the adapter out. Leave the adapter out. This is the second part of your double flare. So once again just tighten the tool up. And then what you do, just tighten it up again. I like it a little tighter now. I'm going to lay it here on the bench and just tighten her down a bit. Oh yeah, here. That All right. So now we'll back it off. Now, taking a loosened tool up. Once, once again, I'll put the handle in here to loosen these guys up. You take this out of there, that's your double flare. That's what you want to do when you have to connect brake lines or whatever. That one actually looks eh, pretty decent. Um, so we'll we'll go with that. I mean, if you want to see here, since so Moy doing it the other way, I'll take one of my I'll take one of my long connectors here. Right way, Mike. I thought I would made my pieces a little too. Of course this stuff's pretty damn easy to bend. That's why I like this. And I found out this is legal in Pennsylvania. I found out from a guy who does inspections all the time. See? That's how that's how it looks around there. If you turn it around, you, you can see as long as it looks pretty square all the way around, you're gonna be good. Alright. That's your double flare. Now what I'm going to do, or no drink, I'm going to cut this off with my little handy dandy tool that I've had forever. I was just, uh, I was just busy replacing a, uh, I have a rental property and I was busy replacing a toilet, fixing a toilet I should say that was blocked and you know I don't mind so much but uh, it appears somebody threw a tube of like a toothpaste tube almost a crap or a toothpaste tube down in it yeah crap alright because it had crap but uh, I just got done doing that that's why I needed a beer alright I don't have enough uh, 
Okay. So anyhow, I figured to make this video because I promised it, and I have a couple extra minutes before I bring my skid steer in. Skid steer, I'm going to look at the drive motor and stuff. If you watch my videos, you'll see about the skid steer. I got more work to do on it, and I'm going to take the videos and work on it when I when I do work on it. Yeah, baby, there it goes. Woo. Alrighty. Now, like I said, once again, this is a rough edge. So what I'm going to do is, with my little battery-operated Dremel, just go in the top, go around it. Alright, so there we go. So now what I, what I want to show you is how to make a bubble or an ISO flare with just a regular double flare tool. And in my Saturn video, if you watched, you'd see that um, I did it and it worked as it has before. There's a specific ISO tool to make the ISO flares out there. I've never had a problem with this, so I continue to do it. But basically, what you do is, the side you made the double flare with has your numbers on it. I can't tell if you can see the numbers or not on that, I think so, or to, you know what diameter you're using. So what you want to do is turn the tool over, go to the side without that. So then what you do, and basically, I mean, it, it, it's, it's actually the same thing. You're going to take it, put it in there, this is on the back side, the one with, with no numbers on it, the flat side, no bevel in it or anything. And once again, you're going to take your little adapter, and you're going to take your adapter and measure onto that shoulder. Close enough for me. Tighten everything up. You know, make sure it's square and make sure you can tighten everything up. And just because, I mean, this is for purposes of showing rather than using, I am not going to go hog wild tightening that down. You'll get the point here. So what you do is you take your adapter tool, same as you did with the double flare when you did the first part of it, and put it on there. Okay. Then take your tool, your flare tool, make sure everything's square again. I am going to tighten this a little bit because I see that I see that this is in the way of the wing that's in the way of that. So just I'm going to tighten it a little more, get her out of the way, which I did. And what you want to do is make sure you're square. Yeah, this I just this tool just I just don't like it. I don't know why it's it wants to fall off of here and. My other one didn't do this. Alright, so you want to go, I don't know if you see what I did, but if you go long ways away from the wing nut, close side up towards the end of the tool, it, here it seems it wants to do it a little better. So what you do, you got that all set up, put this together. Alright, let's tighten it up. And I'm not going to go hog wild on this, as I said, because then i got to mess around loose it you're going to get the same results out of this. You may want to go a little tighter when you're actually doing it for fit. But uh, this worked on my Saturn. Take that off. Take that off. Now, I'll take it out of here, but what you see is basically a bubble flare. Um, from what I've seen, the bubble flare that I had was a little fatter, a little higher, but this worked. I mean, all I can tell you is this worked. Let me loosen it up and I'll show this to you. Once again, take my tool, loosen this up, loosen this up. You know, I usually look around it to make sure that it's pretty even, which it is, it's not bad. But if you look at that, that's pretty much the same as a bubble flare. Like I said, it may be a little thicker or whatever. I used it on my Saturn. I've used it on other vehicles. It works fine. You know, not, and uh, once again, we'll take our end, 
put the end on it and I used I just used the regular end for the double flare put it on there for my bubbles my bubble flare iso flare that's what it looks like I fit up against it and it worked so I wanted to get this video done I wanted to show you people how to do that if you use it that's fine you know, I, like I said I've had good luck with it um, so once again this is Mike the disgruntled mechanic enjoying a Saturday and saying to you as I always do when I close my videos if you can get somebody else to do it you're probably better off till next time thank you oh and like I said don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my videos let me know give me a thumbs up that'd be cool don't do Facebook Facebook sucks won't go there but if you like this I'm on Google Plus as the disgruntled mechanic please go there follow me and like I said disgruntled mechanic channel on YouTube thank you folks have a good Saturday or whatever day it may be when you're watching this over and out